Hi guys, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me on my on my YouTube channel tonight. All right, Sid Roth, the one you're looking at, he prophesied Trump will win re-election. He brought in so many prophets, literally so many prophets he brought in that they're gonna, they, they all say that Trump is gonna win the election, which was obviously a lie. And all of them, they say, God told them. And that's what I'm doing this video. Every one of them, they say, God told me, God showed me a vision. God gave me a dream that Trump is going to be re-elected. I, uh, I have one goal. If God didn't say, don't ever say that God said it. All right. And Sid Roth, I have done videos of him. Check it out on my YouTube. He said, like, I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to stick with, uh, you know, the prophecy, the prophecy, what I heard from God and what the prophet said. But <laughs> two days ago, he came in on his channel, on his broadcast called It is Supernatural. And he laid it all out. And I want you and me to watch it. And then I'm going to provide my commentary. So right now, let's roll the tape. And that's God. He's the only one you have to please. And so I pray and you agree with me in Yeshua, in Jesus name that God would be pleased by what I'm going to say. As you know, I am an investigative reporter and we do. Oh, I didn't know you were an investigative reporter. I thought you were a prophet. I thought you were a man of God. I thought you were the one who just runs. It is supernatural. You are about saving souls. You're about God. Uh, tonight or today, you are telling us you are in, you are an investigator, an in investigative reporter. I didn't know about that. Such a thorough job of investigating our guests and reading books and uh, and, and uh, just all 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 the steps that we do. Just to let you know, Sid Roth with. It is supernatural, right? He brings in so many prophets and so many people claim to have all these miracles. It's his job to vet them. It is, and they enact. In fact, in his program, he enacts everything they tell him. You know, they make a video of it and it's, it's on him, you know? But today he's saying like, I'm an investigative reporter. I thought he was a man of God. He was the prophet. Uh, he has said that, but well, let's listen a little bit more. It's actually in a sense because of the number of guests we have, ridiculous. But I started that way and I'm gonna continue that way. And um, you have no idea how many guests are eliminated for doctrinal reasons or for just things we, we, we feel the book won't, won't be the... Uh. So there are people he, he won't bring on his supernatural channel, which airs on different TV networks, you know, because of the doctrinal reasons and all 
biblical reasons, but the one he has featured, which I have covered it on this channel, especially about Trump, uh, about Trump those prophets, prophets have given a false prophecy, so I'm not sure how he did it. Oh, that good for the for for you, but um, I, I want you to know, as an investigative reporter, uh, we only have the best of the best, and when it comes to prophets, the prophets that we have on the show are ones with proven track records, and um, uh, and and you know, there's a scripture that says. So the prophets that he brings are the one with the proven records. Although the Trump prophecy, many of them he has brought, more than 10, have given a false prophecy. And now he's quoting the scripture. Uh, believe in the prophets and you will prosper. Well, I take that scripture seriously. And... Um, I absolutely believed that God wanted President Trump to win again. Absolutely. So if God wanted for Trump to win again, that's what Sid Roth want you and me to believe. So if God wanted him to win, God is sovereign. Why didn't it didn't work out like that? So what happened? You know, did the demonic forces overcome God? You know, did, did the devil win against God? Because that's what they want us to believe. If God is sovereign and Trump wanted, and God wanted Trump to win, Trump should be the president today. And uh, one of the reasons was the prophets but another reason that I absolutely uh, believed it was because of what President Trump stood for. Um, so he says that like, because of what the prophets say, that's why he believed God wanted Trump to win. The other reason was the platform, what Trump believed in. That has nothing to do with scripture, with God, you know. That is politics and the political pendant right there, said Rod, talking to you and me. I also believe that God wanted me to do everything in my, with my ability to see that President Trump would win. So God wanted Sid Rod to make sure he sees everything and make sure Trump wins. Okay, so for Sid Roth to, to do that, he has to give a false prophecy. He has to, or his audience, he has to tell them to go vote for Trump because that's what he believed. Unfortunately, it was a false prophecy. I was for Trump, not because of personality, but because of platform. So he supported Trump, not because of what God said, although he said God wanted him to support Trump to make sure he wins the election. And now he's saying like, because of the platform, that's why I was for Trump. But I don't think that's what God wanted. God will always respect the will of the people. God does not have a remote control where he controls. Sid Roth, support Trump. Sid Roth, hey, don't support Biden. No, God respects the will of the people. And the will of the people, people voted for Biden. And he won the elections. And it doesn't matter what Sid Roth thinks about. And for those that have written and thought, well, I made Trump an idol. No, I saw his shortcomings just like you saw his shortcomings. 
There were so many biblical reasons that I wanted President Trump to win. Now you can say, you wanted, you wanted, no God wanted. But said his character or personality before he was a believer in Jesus, I stop. I could say that about everyone listening to me and me too, I could say that about. My Bible says he became a new creation. Now, does that mean he didn't regress in some areas uh, such as language, etc.? Yes, but he's a work in training, a work in progress. And I have to tell you, it was so refreshing having a president that honored what he said he would do, he did. I mean, already the new president is not doing what he promised to do. But I don't want to get into politics. I, I, I want to tell you. I'm sorry you're already in politics. That's what it is. And, and you're doing politics. You are a political pendant. All right? You are a political pendant. That's who you are. And don't claim to speak for God. Don't claim like God say this. You know? Don't claim like, oh God, tell me, go show me. You are a political pendant, Sid Rod. All right? And that's what you're doing. If President Trump stood for what he said he would do, that's fine. He lost the election. Biden comes and if he's not doing what he says is, all you are doing is political pandemic. Has nothing to do with God. And don't deceive people and say like God says, oh God, you brought so many prophets, especially Cyril, you need to be accountable. You brought so many prophets that say Trump will be reelected. Trump will be there for the next term. Joe Biden will never be the president. You actually even say that Trump will be president and you said, I'm standing in faith, I'm not giving up. You need to apologize or repent. You gotta separate your opinion against what God said. So, in my view, you have not been forthcoming and it's so sad that you're doing and you're bringing many prophets on your show that really are false prophets. All right? Hey guys, tell me what you think. This is a little bit long video, but I appreciate you watching my video. Shalom.